Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at the LifeProof case. The LifeProof case is unlike other very high quality solutions out there that provide supreme protection to your iPhone. This one in particular is waterproof, it's dirt proof, you can submerge it, you can record videos underwater, and it retails for about $80. And this is the LifeProof case, and they show on the box at least that it's that thin. Let me go ahead and open it up and then we'll do some tests with it and see how good it really is. So we'll get right in here. There we are. And let's go ahead and see what we've got. All right. So here is the case itself. And you get a little earphone adapter that allows you to listen to music underwater if you really wanted to. There we go. So it plugs in the top, you've got your earphones there, you can buy waterproof earphones from LifeProof. And this screws in the top, it has a little O-ring right here. Let me go ahead and take a look at the case itself. So the case itself has a front screen protector here that goes over the top of your phone. We've got a little microfiber cloth it comes with. On the back it has a warning too, it says caution. Uh, I've read all of the instructions, so I should be good there, but it's telling you how to install it. And here we have some instructions, a little QR code, and it talks about its accessories. So it has a belt clip, a bike mount, armband, swim belt. And this case, unlike others also, is meant to keep you from having to remove your iPhone from the case due to how thin it really is. So you can see once it's clicked together, it's pretty thin. And I'm going to do that now because one of the things I wanna test is that it really works underwater. And to do that, you actually clip together here and work yourself around the outside here. And what it tells you to do is actually put this underwater for an hour with a weight on it. So something just to keep it underwater since it's going to have air in it and you want to have it held down. And what we have here is we clip down around the bottom. So it even supposedly it enhances the sound coming out of here as well. Let's go ahead and clip that. And this should be waterproof. It's pretty light. It's much lighter than, say, an OtterBox and much thinner as well. So it looks like it could be a decent overall case. It does have this little plastic cover on the front. That should be interesting to see how it works on top of an iPhone. You've got a little button here for your iPhone, uh, which is a nice touch. And then all of the ports, I guess they work. I haven't tried these yet, but I guess they work and provide full functionality of your phone. They even have anti-reflective glass in the back so that you can use your camera when you're underwater and have no problem with that. So it shouldn't fog up or reflect any light. It's actually glass, not plastic, to allow for a better picture through the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up uh, around my sink here, and then we'll put this underwater for about an hour. Oh, there we go. I knew it wasn't sealed somewhere. We'll put this in the sink for about an hour see what happens and hopefully it doesn't leak if it doesn't leak that means the the case is good and it should work well on the iPhone so we'll go ahead and do that now and also we'll take a look at some of these little ports and things afterwards when we have the iPhone in place uh, it won't do us much good here now so you can see uh, all the different buttons are available but we'll take a look at those in a moment when we come back here we have the sink set up I have my life proof case and we're going to test this underwater. Everything is sealed. We have all, everything on the bottom sealed. Let's go ahead and place it in water. Place a little bottle on top of it and let it sit for about an hour. All right, the life case has been underwater for a little over an hour. Let's go ahead and remove it. It's floating. See if there's any water in it. We'll go and take a look at this closer and then try the iPhone in it. We had the LifeProof case underwater for over an hour and a little bit more time, actually, as I ran out and did some errands and things like that, and came back home, took it out from under the water. I had a little bit of condensation under it, as you may have seen, and when I pulled that out of the water. And what we're going to do now is take this apart and place the iPhone in it. Let's go ahead and it's actually a little bit wet still. Let's go ahead and wipe that off here. There we go. It's got a little bit of a little bit of water left on it. So let's go ahead and undo the bottom here. 
and it says to take a coin and place it here and begin to pop the case apart. And it says to kind of wiggle it back and forth so you don't break the seal when you want to pull it apart. It's not really meant for you to uh, take apart regularly. It's meant to keep your phone in safe for some time. This is a bit challenging to pull apart. There we go. There, we got it. And so you can see here's the, the case itself. It has a little rubber seal in it for the waterproof seal. And I'm going to put my iPhone in it now. It says to put it in front faced first. So let's get any dust that might be in there out of there. Oh, that's on the other side. So we'll get any dust out of there. And let's get my iPhone here. I've taken any shield off of it, so this is a iPhone 4S. Let's wipe the front here, get any dust off of it, and place it into the case. Now it does have this little switch here that's for your sleep-wake button, or rather your vibrate switch, and let's go ahead and place it into the case. Oh, we do need to take the top out here, and this is for the headphone jack. There we are. Let's see if we can get that into place here. Okay, and there's a speck of dust under there. That's going to drive me nuts, actually. So let me see if I can pop this back out of here. A little scary to pop the phone back out, but let's get the dust out of there. There it is. We'll get anything off of here, anything off of there, and we want to place this into the case carefully. Again. There we go. So it looks like we're in place here. Okay. Oh, I see. It's kind of reversed because this is a little bit of a rocker, and that's interesting. But let's go ahead and I'll wipe the back off just for good measure. We've got everything in place. It looks like the screen is good. And there we go. Looks like the screen is good. It's in place. Let me go ahead and put the back on. It says to start from the top and go around the edge with your thumb. And there's a snap at the bottom, make sure everything's in place, and there we go. So the case is on, and then we have a headphone jack. Oh, the case is not on. There we go. We have a headphone jack adapter here, or it's a little bit of a, a plug for the headphone jack to keep it waterproof. So let's go ahead and screw that into place. There we go. And that seals watertight. Now when we want to use an audio jack, we can use this in water with this, with the little O-ring and it screws down in. So here's the screen itself. Screen looks good, responds good through the front. You can open email, you can look at news. You do have to push down a little bit as this is a little bit above the top of the screen. And uh, it does a good job, but you do have to push a little bit. But I guess that's a uh, not too much of a price to pay for good protection from your from anything as far as falls to water. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in the water. I'm going to put this in water, make sure it's sealed tight, and then run some water on top of it and see how well it holds up. And then we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Now this is not something I'd normally find myself doing, but let's make sure she's sealed all the way around. And let's fill her up. Now this should work, it won't work as far as the slider goes, but it will stay lit, you can see. It's underwater now, it's working, you can turn it around, 
it's staying sealed and it looks good. Let's see if we have any water leakage. We'll take it out of here. You can see it's working. The time's incrementing. It's a real iPhone in a case underwater. I've taken my iPhone out of the water in the lifeproof case. It seems to have survived okay. You can see there's a little bit of water on the, on the front still, uh, but there's nothing underneath the case or in the case. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the bottom and see if there's anything inside. There's the little dock connector flap. I don't show any water in there, uh, nothing drained out or nothing is draining out. So it seems to have done its job. Everything functions like it should. Being run underwater, it's pretty impressive. It did have some water under this little lip here, but the whole thing is sealed or should be sealed and proved itself when I did the water test underwater for an hour. Everything works well. You've got the front facing, rear facing cameras. They all work well. I can turn the camera on here. So you can record underwater while you're snowboarding, any activity where you're afraid your phone might be damaged, you really don't have to worry about it too much in this case. On the side, we have our volume rockers, or our volume up-down, rather, on the iPhone 4S, and we have our vibrate switch. This feels a little bit different in that you flip it each way. It's kind of opposite because of the way it works. It's more of a rocker instead of a slider. Uh, in, in the way they've actually made it seal. We have these bumpers here to protect it from getting hit by anything either. On the top, we have our sleep-wake button along with this little screw here that we can take out for our headphones. If you buy the optional headphones, you can plug this little dongle that comes with the case into it. Screw this in here like this. It should seal, and now you can listen to your headphones underwater even if you really wanted to if you had some waterproof headphones that they offer or while you're snowboarding or skiing or whatever activity you do you really shouldn't have to worry about this too much when you're done you unscrew it like this we have an extra cap in here just in case we lose it or a place to store it as well and we just place this back in this case is meant to be used every day as opposed to using it only when you need to use this sort of protection the, front, the, the button on the front, the screen feels pretty good. Everything works well. Call quality works well. You've got your speaker and your microphone, and you can people can hear you. You can hear them well. No problems as far as that goes. Great pictures through this glass here, and it protects very well against drops and bumps and things like that. There's only one place I see where it could be a problem, and that's if something hit the screen directly because this is more of just a screen protector than, say, a thick barrier. It's not really cushioned, per se. It doesn't really protect from impact. You do have these rims uh, that are sort of rubbery coated that will protect in an impact this way, but you really don't have the entire thing as far as impact goes, uh, as some other cases do. Overall, though, this case is great for this sort of protection just because look how thin this is. Most of these cases are extremely big, heavy, thick, and this one really uh, keeps it thin and is very functional and everything works very well right now. Uh, the case itself is really nice and is definitely worth checking out if you need a case that needs to be protected in, in that sort of circumstance. If you have any questions, please go ahead and place them in the comments below. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.